Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to migrate from OpenTX 2.3 to EdgeTX 2.9 or higher. The reason for this video is because there have been some changes in Edge TX where they removed a certain functionality that you need in order to migrate from OpenTX, and that functionality is related to your model data files. In OpenTX, model data files are written in a binary format, which is only machine readable. Some time ago in Edge TX, they converted to a format called YAML, which is human readable. And in order for Edge TX to be able to see your models, you have to have those models converted to the YAML format. That conversion process was removed in Edge TX 2.9. So you can no longer go directly from OpenTX anything to Edge TX 2.9. In order to migrate to Edge TX, you have to stop at a version prior to 2.9 first. I'm gonna show you how to do it with Edge TX 2.8.4. So first thing we'll do is go from OpenTX to Edge TX 2.8.4, and once our conversion is complete, then we'll migrate to Edge TX 2.9. Now before I get started, I'm gonna press the jog dial and hit model select so you can see what models I have on this radio. I've got my Tron 7 helicopter and a couple of airplanes, a Katana, a Dart 250, and an Escapade MX. The next thing we're gonna do is get set up to make this migration. So I'm gonna go to the workspace, and on the workspace, I've got a page already open to Edge TX Flying Dutchman 2.8.4. We will scroll down and look for assets. And under assets, we're looking for Edge TX firmware 2.8.4. We're going to download that one first. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll go to the current version of Edge TX, which as of this video is 2.9.1, and we'll download that one next. That's the Edge TX firmware 2.9.1 zip file. We'll download both of those and those are both now on my desktop. I'll drag those where you can see them, and we no longer need the browser, so we'll just put that away. So here are the two firmware folders. The next thing I'm gonna do is connect the radio, the OpenTX radio, to my computer using the USB-C cable, and on USB storage, I'm just gonna highlight that right there and click the jog dial. That will open the SD card up for reading and writing on my computer. So those windows have popped up right here. The next thing we'll do is open up the zip folders and find the firmware that we're interested in. So this one is Edge TX 2.8.4, and we're looking for the TX16S binary. Make sure you pick the right binary. A lot of people make a mistake. They'll flash T16 on, the, on a TX16S, and they don't get touched, and they wonder what's, what the problem is. So this is Edge TX 2.8.4 right there in the, in the title, and we're looking at TX16S. I'm just gonna drag that into my firmware folder. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is open that firmware folder and I'm gonna rename that binary so I can recognize it later. I'm just gonna right click, hit rename, and we're gonna call this edge tx underscore 2.8.4. That way there's no confusion later. The next thing we'll do is the same thing with edge tx 2.9.1. So I'm in the 2.9.1 folder. I'm gonna scroll down, look for TX16S. Make sure you get the TX16S, not the T16 and we'll drag that into our firmware folder on our SD card on the radio. Now that we've done that, I'll rename this binary so I can recognize it later. This is Edge TX 2.9.1. All right, so now we've got the two firmwares that we need in order to perform the upgrade. The next thing I wanna do is flash the bootloader, and we'll do that by unplugging the radio from the USB-C cable. And we have to flash the bootloader. The reason we have to flash the bootloader is because you cannot flash Edge TX binaries using the OpenTX bootloader. So in order to flash Edge TX the way I'm going to show you, you have to flash the bootloader, but don't worry, it's very simple. We'll just click on the system button and we'll navigate over to the SD card right there. And in the firmware folder, we're gonna look for Edge TX 2.9.1. It really doesn't matter which bootloader you use. It doesn't matter. 2.9.1 is the latest, so I'll just use that. And we'll highlight that one and long press the jog dial. And the option there is to flash the bootloader. I'll click return and we'll write out the bootloader just like that. It's that easy to do. The next thing we'll do is turn the radio off and then we'll press T4 and T1 in. So these two switches go in, we'll press T4 in, T1 in, and then we power on the radio. And that will bring us into the bootloader. So Edge TX bootloader 2.9.1. Now we'll click on write firmware. This is the important step, don't mess this up. And before you flash anything, you did back up your SD card contents, right? Right? Back up your SD card before you do anything else. 
Okay, so Edge TX 2.8.4, that's first. It's important to do this one first because this is what provides the actual conversion of your model files from binary to YAML. So 2.8.4, we'll click that one time and then long press, and that will start the right process. The firmware is now successfully written to the radio. We'll back out now by hitting the return button and then we'll hit exit. One other thing I'll mention, you're gonna hear welcome to OpenTX. And the reason for that is because we haven't changed anything about the SD card contents themselves yet, including the sound files. If you want the appropriate imagery and audio prompts, you'll also need to install the sound pack that comes with Edge TX instead of using the one that's installed for OpenTX. Very important to do that to complete the process. All I'm showing you how to do right now is flash the right firmware in order so that you get the conversion and you can successfully complete your migration to, from OpenTX to EdgeTX. Okay, so we'll hit the exit button, and when we do that, we'll boot into 2.8.4. SD card conversion required. It's going through that process right now. This is the code that's been removed from 2.9.1. We'll hit the jog dial. That will actually conduct the conversion, and now we can back out. And when we back out of this initial screen, I can hit the model button. And when we do that, you can see I've got my Dart 250, my Escapade MX, my Tron, and my Katana. They're all there. Now that we've got Edge TX 2.8.4 installed and our models have been converted, now we can go back into the bootloader and flash 2.9.1. We'll turn the radio off, press T4 and T1 in, press the power button, so that we get into the bootloader, and then we'll click on Write Firmware, scroll down to edgetx 2.9.1.bin, we'll click that one time, and then we'll long press. That will start the write process. With the write process complete, we can press Return, and then scroll down to Exit, press the jog dial, and we'll boot into 2.9.1. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Now if I press the model button, we'll see our models are there, Dart 250, Escapade MX, my helicopter, and the Katana. There are a couple of other housekeeping items you'll need to take care of relating to the contents of your SD card. I'm not gonna cover that on today's video because I've already done a full-length video on converting from OpenTX to EdgeTX and how to deal with the contents of the SD card. So I'm not gonna redo that, that hasn't changed. This was really about the binary to YAML conversion process. So you will need to take care of things like your audio prompts, for example. If you don't take care of that, you're gonna have OpenTX audio prompts on an EdgeTX radio, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So check the description for a link to the other video on how to actually convert over your SD card contents from OpenTX to EdgeTX. And finally, we'll confirm the version of EdgeTX that we're on by clicking the information button. And you can see I've got 2.9.1 provenance right there. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the bell. YouTube should recommend another video for you right now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.